What's up, YouTube? Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak the new iOS 11.4 that I'm running here. And um, as you can see, I uh, do not have Cydia. Um, so I'm, I'm not jailbroken yet. Um, and um, uh, what you do is simply from your iOS device, from your um, iPad or iPhone, you start your Safari browser. And then you head over to this address here, pangu11.mobile. And um, here they will tell you how it works. They will tell you that you can't install Cydia on a device that has not been jailbroken, because Apple has not approved it. Uh, but you can, of course, install apps that Apple has approved. So the Pangu team, they simply hide Cydia uh, and the jailbreak inside of a approved application. So the result is that you get a seemingly approved application that you can install without problem, uh, and uh, the jail well, sorry the app has a jailbreak in inside of it. So when you start this app, you also start the jailbreak uh, and the installation of Syria in the background. So uh, head over to pangu11.mobile and scroll to the bottom and click this little icon here to get to the free uh, jailbreak injected app store. Uh, now there are no surveys or human verifications or any form, can, any form of payment or any crap like that. If there is anything like that on a site, then it's fake, then it's not a jailbreak. The, the window pops up, you, you need to verify that you're a human by doing a survey or add a credit card, whatever. It's a scam, so don't do it. Jailbreaks are always Free and direct, nothing else. Um, now, uh, when you click this link here, uh, you should be taken directly to a jailbreak injected app. Um, sometimes you get taken to some stupid ad site, um, or survey, or whatever. Um, don't don't proceed. Don't continue. You, you there's nothing there for you. Um, if you don't get sent directly to a free app, then uh, all apps are free. If you don't get it sent directly to an app, then simply go back and click the link again. So, uh, usually uh, it works right away and you're taken to a jailbreak injected app straight away. Uh, like now. That's lucky when I'm recording. Now, uh, you know, uh, we were taken to a random jailbreak injected app. And we're simply going to um, download this app and start it up. Um, since this app has Cydia and Jailbreak hidden inside of it, when we start this app, the Jailbreak will start in the background. So we need to um, start the app and uh, now we need to keep it running for about 30 seconds or so. Um, the reason for that is to get the Jailbreak time to install itself properly. And uh, one question I get a lot is, what's that blinking there? And that blinking is the proximity sensor. You cannot see it with your naked eyes. Um, so, you know, it's not a fake iPhone I have. Uh, um, if you try, record, sorry, try recording your iPhone and then look at that video, then you will also see that blinking. Um, and I think it's the same with the remote controls for TV and such. But anyway. Uh, when we have kept the app running for about 30 seconds, we are simply going to restart our device to finish off the jailbreak process. Uh, one thing worth noting is that sometimes these apps get patched. So if they, if they have been patched, then nothing happens, nothing at all. Uh, when you restart your device, you'll, this will be just the same as always. Um, that simply means that that app has been patched and it will be soon be removed and replaced with a working one. Um, sometimes there are a few apps that are, are patched, so you need to try a few before you find one that finally works. Um, it can be annoying like that, but new, new freshly injected uh, apps are um, added quite often. And uh, as soon as one app stops working, it will be removed. And there's the Pangu symbol. That's a good sign it's that it's preparing the file system. 
and finishing installing Cydia. And like I said, all of these apps are 100% free. Uh, if, if it doesn't work on the first app, then it's been patched. Simply try again. Again, all free. Um, and uh, if you get taken to some ad site, when you click that link um, in the App Store, in the free injected App Store, if you get taken to anything but a direct download of an app, simply go back straight away. I don't know why they put those goddamn annoying ads there. Uh, anyway, here's Cydia. For functional, of course, and fully untethered. And that's pretty much it. That's how easy it is to install, uh, how to jailbreak the new iOS 11.4 install Cydia. And if you like my video, I would be very happy if you commented, uh, rated, and subscribed, and yada yada, you know the drill. Thank you for watching. Bye.